very privileged to be a part of Lightning and to be chosen in the inaugural team and to build a legacy uh, at the club is something that I'll forever um, hold very close to my heart and to be have also been very successful in our first five years and to build I, I think a club that people want to come to and are drawn to I think is um, pretty cool. I think it's actually one of the hardest things in sport not many sporting teams uh, after they win a premiership can back it up so to be able to win two premierships in a row and then make a third grand final and then to still be in the mix and make two consecutive uh, finals after that is, uh, is something really hard and something that I'm very proud of that our club has been able to do. To be a, st a sustained performer you can't do the same thing over and over because people will look at you and try and work out what you're doing really well and try and combat that. So constantly being able to evolve while you still got your brand and netball you want to play, but what else you can layer on top of that because you are the hunted. So you've kind of got to make sure that you do some little tweaks to your game. Yeah, to have the best in the business as our support staff um, is really important because they're the one that put the program together for us to be successful. We're the one that have to go out there and um, execute whatever game plan is put in place, but strength and conditioning is the one that's getting us fit enough to run whatever game plan we are. Um, performance analysis, like, you know, analysing other teams so we can come up with a game plan, and then physios being able to keep us uh, injury free and being able to perform week in, week out, and there's heaps of people behind the scenes that it takes for us to be uh, the team that we are on court. Yeah, I never really saw myself as a leader and it wasn't until Kylie and Knowles pointed out um, the influence I can have on other players that opened my eyes that I can play a massive role in how people feel um, out on court and if I'm in a bit of a mood that does radiate to other um, teammates. So for me the past few years has, that's definitely opened my eyes that the influence I can have on people around me and um, making sure that I'm in the right headspace um, to help the team. Culture is massive, I think, in any uh, team success. And I don't think culture is something that's written down in a book and you get handed, handed it and say, this is what we live by. I think it's something you need to create and it's an environment that you can walk into and it's something that you, um, you learn by actually living it. You can learn, I think, a lot about yourself and you can reflect and um, have some honest feedback with you know, yourself personally, but I think it's really important to be able to build relationships um, and have a good relationships with people so you can have those hard conversations because sometimes they need to be had and they're uncomfortable and no one likes to have them but being a really successful team they need to be had and I think that's really important to be able to be a sustained performer. We were so successful in our first three years that people were looking at us as to giving them the blueprint of how to win um, an SSN competition. So uh, now I think for us going forward, it's big to find something new and to add to our what we've already built. Can they get it here, the Lightning? They work it to wood. But to win the game, she's got it! Stanford, take a bow!